hip hop community mourning one of their own. Rich homie Quan has died at his home in Atlanta. The rapper's family confirmed his death to Rolling Stone. Rich was 34 years old. No cause of death details for now, but in a 911 call obtained by TMZ, Rich's girlfriend says she found him unresponsive. In the wake of Rich's death, tributes pour in on social media. Jaquees shared this 2013 pic of the two on X, simply writing legend. Quavo adding a heartbreaking moment to his Instagram story. Amigos rapper in the studio with Rich and his late nephew Takeoff. His message for fans, may God be with us. Never saw this being a part of our journey. Rich first found fame a decade ago with his track Flex, followed by more hits and multiple high profile collabs, including with 2 Chains and Gucci Mane and Young Thug. That's Rich on the It's Up There podcast in May, reflecting on success in one of his final interviews. Do you feel it? Uh, <clears throat> not really, man, only because, like, this shit probably more uh, fun now than it was the first time, only because I know the game, so I'm able to play the game. Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the whole four elect. Starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude of men, women, and children of Israel who may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson, uh, you know, based off the clip you just seen, you know, with this individual rich homie Kwan, but you know, most of us do know who he is. And uh, yeah, man, hey, what do you expect? What do you expect of, uh, from a lifestyle, okay, that pushes the degeneracy and the reprobate mindset of our people? Yahweh Bashim Shai is making it well known that he hates these rappers, man. These drill rappers. I remember Elder Manata Zakpa did a lesson uh, a couple years ago, as a matter of fact, uh, going into the numerous rappers that had been deleted. And it was astronomical. Okay, it's plain. I mean, the token is clear. The Yahweh Bashim Shai is not for that lifestyle, man. You see, and it was just a uh, an individual uh, over here in Boston, uh, a young, uh, up and coming uh, drill rapper uh, that just got uh, he got a headshot, man, in the barber shop, a headshot to the dome. We did a lesson on it. A few brothers, uh, well, a couple, of, you know, brothers in the camp did a lesson on it. Um, the other brother, my brother Araya, and uh, yeah, man, there's actually a video out there. Uh, YouTube clips, some other individuals did a lesson going into it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I may show it. I may show the, uh, I may show the clip of this individual as well. Another rapper drop. You know, I may show it through the spirit. I'll just have to find it real quick. You know, I mean, again, we did a lesson on it a day or so ago, going into this individual that got the headshot at the barber shop over here in Boston. But needless to say, man, yeah, the Lord's not playing around, man. You know, you Jake trying to seek fame and glory on this side, man, thinking that you uh, living the life being wicked and you got these riches, you, you know, you want to be, uh, 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 you want to be, uh, 
a public figure, you know, someone of high esteem in the society, not realizing all you're doing is making yourself an enemy, more and more, more, more and more of an enemy to your power. And ultimately, at some point, he's going to meet you with that judgment, man. He's going to meet you with the judgment. You know? When you go through the book of Tobit, let's start right here through the spirit. I'm going to grab back other clip and we'll just keep it moving. When you go to the book of Tobit real quick, the 12th chapter. Let's see here. The book of Tobit chapter 12. And this is Tobit counseling with his son, Tobias. And he says some wise things to him, man, that we need to uh, take in consideration. <laughs> you know? Remember, all things that are written were written for our learning, right? Check this out. The book of Tobit, chapter 12 and verse 8, right? And it reads, prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness, man. And what is alms? Alms is when you pay what? You, you pay your tithes, right? You give gifts, you know, to the church or whatnot, you know? And ultimately, the greatest... The greatest arm you can do, you know, is, is, is push this word to your people as a man of the Lord. You know, bring these good tidings to Jake. Letting them know that our power reigneth, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and we are going to be delivered from this captivity. But of course, again, we pay tithes to the church. You know, this is something that we you, know, you should be doing if you, you know, believe that the men that the Lord sent um, are truly those men, man. You know. You should be supporting uh, supporting the church, you know? And it shows a level of righteousness. Now listen, check this out. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold, man. Because ultimately, your silver and your gold. Let me go get it. We're going to come back here. You won't be delivered with it. Buy it. And this is what you Jake don't understand. You think having uh, five million dollars, you know, now delivered you from uh, a visitation from the Almighty? Nah, man, you got it twisted. And you got your constellation. <laughs> now you got to be waiting for that pin and judgment that's gonna come to you because you know you got to move filthy in efforts to be rolling in all that money and. Uh, being endorsed by these uh, Amalek-owned corporations, man. Come on, man. We know what's going on. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 18. It reads, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. You see? There's no cloak of protection because you got because uh, <laughs> you got a hundred million dollars, man. Oh man, you're gonna hey, you're gonna die with that with that corruptible uh with those corruptible riches, man. Upon the day of your judgment. Check this out. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Right? Great judgments coming, man. And this is what the inhabitants of the earth have forgotten. That great judgment is coming. You people are in pending this pending danger, man, for you people, man. And only you, Jakes, can repent. Because the judgment that's coming is full of wicked. You see? Upon this transition of eons, man. And this is why we're telling you, Jakes, to repent. Repent, Jake. Repent, Jake. Repent, Jake. You know, we're going to keep telling you. But you're not going to listen. But we're going to keep telling you, though. <laughs> you know? Because our, our power, Yahweh Bashim Shai, has made our heads hard against your foreheads, man. Okay, and we're getting your blood off of our hands. Back in the book of Tobit. Okay, chapter 12 and verse 9. Reading down. For alms doeth deliver from death, man. See that? Which alms equate to righteousness, right? And shall purge away all sin. See? Those that execute Salakia. Those that exercise arms and righteousness, okay, and righteousness, right? Walking upright to the best of your ability, right? Should be delivered. Should should be filled with 
life. See that? But check this out. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. And didn't old boy say? Uh, did, I could have mentioned, I could have sworn old boy said uh, something about sin at the end of this video. Let me listen. Hold on. This shit probably more uh, fun now than it was the first time. Only because I know the game. So I'm able to play. Hey, maybe I'm wrong, but it, it, it sounds like to me, old boy asked him, do you sin less? Or did he say, do you sing less? It sounds like he said sin, but maybe I'm tripping. Let me see something. Let me listen to this again. Success in one of his final interviews. Do you feel it? This shit probably more uh, fun now than it was the first time. You can't really make it out, but it almost sounds like he says, you send less. But needless to say, hey, regarding Tobit 12 and 10, but they that sin are enemies to their own life. And what are the wages? Because the why? The wages of sin is death. You see, that's why Proverbs 8, right? He that sinneth against me, it says, what wrongeth his own soul? All that hate me, love death see you Jake don't understand you moving in transgression it's gonna cost you your life let me see if I can find that clip of old boy bear with me okay kind I was able to find it I had to do some searching I had to do some digging but this video popped up on my uh, on my uh, stream so I peeped it because I was like oh wow I'm like I, really, I you know I know about this situation I did a lesson on it so peep game, right? This individual, 21. All right? Listen to what his name is to start. And then on top of that, look at what he's in, look at what he's involved in. Look at how he look at look at the lifestyle he's living. And then when you come to the conclusion that he got dome hit, he got a, a dome shot in the barber shop, it, it, it all starts to make sense. Okay? It all starts to make sense. Listen. What's up, fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you, Negroes, today. Boston drill rapper Demon Child E3 was shot and killed by Sydney the Barber. Demon Child E3 is his name. Okay? Demon Child E3. Okay? And he got, he, he got visited by a crew messenger. Look at him. Look what he's involved in. Look at him. Drill rapper. Here, and that's the way his life was supposed to end. Now, I'm not saying he deserved it. I'm not saying I'm happy to report on it. But what the hell did you think was going to happen? He's a drill rapper. He got ops. He's in the gang. He disrespect the dead. So when I hear the news that he was shot and killed, I'm supposed to get on my YouTube channel and act surprised. I'm supposed to get on my YouTube channel and blame all black men, preach to us, talk about how we need to do better as a community. I'm not doing it. Because time after time again, I get on this channel, I report these deaths, I report these mishaps, and every time it happens, people are still acting surprised. They say he's young, he's so talented, he had a lot of life to live. The streets don't care about that. The streets don't care about how good Khan, hey, hey, that's similar to what I said Alright, hey, and that's the truth You know, that's the truth, man And the thing is, this gremlin got a, a cross on his neck, man Which is going off But you can see that, he, you know, Khan, he's probably calling on JC You know, but who knows if he came across the Hebrew Israelites, man Okay, because you know you got, hey, there's camps all over here in Boston, man you got you got GMS Boston, headed by the beloved elder uh, Adama. Okay, it's hi highly likely this individual came across the camps. You know he's probably seen it on YouTube, denounced it. Okay, and continued to live his life like a reprobate. I'm just speaking as a man. Okay, and look what happened. Okay, 
Look what happened. You see? And this is again why we tell you Jake to repent. You see? This this day. Huh, you being joined unto this world, man, is gonna lead you to a to a dark place. Okay. Let's go ahead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28. And he was seeking fame and glory, man. He was seeking riches. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 6, and it reads, Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich, man. Okay, and to be rich, you know you got to be a nasty nigga. You got to do all types of Studio 69. Okay? Acts, man. And hey, read between the lines, man. You know? If you want to make it on some, type, on some type of level. You know? And this is what Jake is seeking after. Fame and glory on this side. But here it is. We're in captivity. But say, Jake is seeking for fame and glory. Now, don't get me twisted. Seeking success, that's that's not a wrong. That's not wrong to be to be successful, you know. But you don't, hey, all you need is your daily bread. You want the Lord to give you what's sufficient for you so you don't get too rich and forget the Lord or too poor and you and you uh, uh, become uh, uh, <laughs> a reprobate, man. And you fall in error. And sin. See? Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness, Proverbs 28 and 6, than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Why is that poor man better in his upright, uprightness? Because as it says in Proverbs 10, let's close out right here. Yeah, that's why, hey, the Wadi how about you, man? You had these cats over at the IU, IUIC, you know, calling the brothers, you know, bums, man. You know, calling the brothers at Great Millstone and the affiliates bum camps, bum with bums, the water. We appreciate that. All right, because there's only one place we can go from this level is up. Right, Proverbs 10 and 2, and it reads, "Treasures of wickedness profit nothing." Right, it just profits death, as we're seeing. Treasures of wickedness. Why? Because this world is the is uh, in the in the in the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. So if you're prospering in this world, you're filthy, rich, millions of dollars, you joined in, man. You locked in. You're joined, you're locked into that wickedness. You're joined unto it. You're touching that pitch. You see? Treasures of wickedness profit nothing. But righteousness delivereth from death, man. And this is what we're holding firm to, man. The righteousness of our power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And efforts to be delivered, okay, from the judgment, man, that are on the way. Because the Lord's bringing scourges and calamities, man. Okay, judgment day is coming. The day of doom is coming. And there's going to be a build up to it. We want to fit the lot of Psalms 91. You know, that's why we're going to continue to walk this path of righteousness. To the best of our ability, man. Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh keeps us in our good graces. But yeah, man. Akiyam and Akwaf. You see our people, man. You see our people, man. Dropping like flies, man. Because of the way that they live their lives. Repent, Jake. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Or face grievous judgment. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Shalom.